Today we open Kaz's final mystery box. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have the third box from Kaz. So far we've had some pretty amazing videos. You can go check those two out. I'll pop those up on the screen. And yeah, let's get into this box. Mission number three, have fun and pull ultis and ghosts. So it looks like the missions are all very similar. So let's see if we can do what we did last time in which we pulled the ghost. Guys, this is gonna be the most fun one yet. We have Dark Revelation Volume 3 in the Ultimate Edition 2, which if you can see up there, this is gonna be pretty insane. Okay, we did it. These are actually one of the hardest ones to open because they're glued on and then they're in that crazy plastic that they used to use back in the early 2000s on everything. But fortunately, they quit doing that. Dark Revelation 2, this is gonna be pretty cool. We got it out. Now let's pull something amazing. I don't know... I don't actually, these might be like weird, so we're not gonna do a pack trick. Element Magician, we got the Hyena, Invasion of Flames. There's a lot of epic product coming up in this video. Mighty God, Red Eyes B Chick. I'm trying to get this, this glue feels like it's still on my hands. I'm trying not to get that on the cards. White Ninja, Innervating Mist. That might have been our rare. Okay, Lone Wolf, Rock Bombardment. And yeah, so it starts at the beginning of the traps or the magic cards or the monster cards depending on what it is so if it was a rare for monsters it would have been at the very front spell would be right here so it's a very weird way they did it with dark revelation but uh yeah that's just how it goes so i don't know how we can really okay so it's not i think that's how they did it on this one unless it's just in the middle but it seemed like they were in order let's see invasion of flames that might have been dark revelation one not sure mighty guard red eyes at beach is this the same pack White Ninja? These are all the same cards! Oh, and a Nitro unit. Okay, so it looks like this is not the same way. Okay, but they do put them in... See, it's all traps and all. But the, weird. Weird. Just weird. Plus, he got, of course, the Dragon Master Knight promo, which is really cool, and then a bunch of glue on the back, which is exciting. <laughs> Next, we have what seems to be some three-pack blisters. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be crazy. This might be, like, one of the coolest, like, old-school mystery boxes we've ever opened. So this was definitely a good one for last. So check all this out. Strike of Neos... And, of course, Tactical Evolution. That's going to be pretty cool. So let's do one at a time. I'm going to mix in some Secrets of Eternity while we're at it. So we're going to have a little mixture going on here. All right. Talk about a time of terrible packaging where everything gets bent. I mean, these are all... The, I think it was the shrink got bent. Uh, this actually doesn't look that bad. But back in the day, the packaging was just awful for these cards. So I'm glad that they've definitely learned their lesson from that. We're getting better on that front. Let's see what we can do with Secrets of Eternity. We've pulled a Secret Rare and a Ghost Rare from here before. Well, actually, we've pulled everything because Wall of D is in here. That's actually cool. When we first opened two cases, this is the first time I ever opened a case was out of there. You know, send you. We got the Farfa made it onto the video. What's up, Farfa? How's it going, dude? How's how's the stream doing? No, I'm just kidding. All right, let's go. Well, let's keep going. What do we got? Are we going to pull something amazing out of Secrets of Eternity? Super Every Samurai, Raid Raptor. We got the Uni Zombie, the Infernoid, Form of Pal, the Raid Raptor, Super Every Samurai. Jim Knight, Lady Lapis Lazuli, and the Gugu Golem. Very nice. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a Strike of Neos. You guys know what we can pull in here? That card that shall not be named, according to Konami. <laughs> the Air Neos. Can we pull it Ultra or Ulti? Ulti would be crazy big. Even in an Unlimited, that would be awesome. We have the Chucha Lane, the Awakened. Oh, Sage of Stillness. The Sheehan's Castle of Mist. The Flashbang. Lycanthrope. I thought that was a hollow for a second. Advanced Ritual Art. No, that's not right. Umbral Soul. We have to keep going. Sage of Silence, an anti-fusion device. Okay, nothing too crazy there. Back to the... Do we get another... There's one of our promos. Okay, weird. That was our promo. It got stuck to the back and I forgot about it. <laughs> okay, sorry, uh, promo. Didn't mean to do that to you. Now we have the Super Every Samurai Soul Beads. The Unizombie is a good card. There's actually some good cards in the set. Toy Knight, very cool. It's like Legos, straight up. The Performer Pal Part Naga. Jigabyte, the Despot 03, UA Blockbacker, and the Google Golem. Nothing in that entire special edition. Let's do Enemy of Justice next. I think I want to do that. Enemy of Justice, EOJ. Let's pull something amazing. Can we do it? That Elemental Hero Phoenix Enforcer, Shining Phoenix Enforcer. There we go. Destiny Signal. Battery Man D, the guy that shall not be named. He'd give us so much trouble. Blazing Hita, the Royal Knight. Power Capsule, and. Miraculous Descent and Grand Converge. We're descending from good pulls to nothing. That's what we're doing here. Strike of Neos, final pack. Until we, of course, have more packs. Because there's a lot of packs in this opening. <laughs> we have a six samurai. There's also a giveaway. Where's the giveaway? Emblem of the Awakening. I need to find that. Come on, we got the Prominence. Ebon Steed. Sheehan's Foot Soldier. We got the Marionette Might. Neospatian Air Hummingbird. That's pretty cool. 
The Neo Spatian Air Hummingbird Super Rare. Where is our giveaway? Let's go find it real quick. Giveaway number three is an entire Black Wing Dragon 2010. 10, 10, 10, however you want to say that. Boom. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite item in this mystery box. There's so many good options. Man, there's a lot of good product in this. So we're going to open this up in another Secrets of Eternity, and then we're going to get them open again all right so we got our mass beast desk guardius which has the weird slimy feeling and the the foils in these packs also have the weird feeling so hopefully we'll pull some of them and experience it the thunderclap sky wolf let's go into the opening with secrets of eternity unlimited yeah these uh tactical evolution labyrinth and nightmare are i think printed around the same time as champion pack 4 which also have that weird slimy feeling i'm glad they get, went away from that because it's not a great feeling it feels really weird captain we got the maggot we got the part naga and we got farfa oh and a secret rare farfa and a secret rare his second appearance in the video already out of only four packs is pretty crazy and their cross of Gungnir. secrets of eternity has been all right so far it's been all right let's see what we can do we have Raid Raptor Readiness. We got the Unpossessed, the Yosinju. We got the Gigabyte, the Raid Raptor, Mischief of the Gnomes, the Requilate, Dragoons, and the Seismatus. All right, Tactical Evolution. Let's see if we can pull any of these weird foils. I hope we can do it. It'd be pretty cool. Or we could pull a Ghost Rider. That'd be pretty sick. I'd be down for that. Let's go. We've got the Convert Contact, the Dark Effigy, Hero Counter Attack, the Alien Shock Trooper, Reverse of Neos, Gravatic Orb, the Revenge, the Ringe, not Revenge, and Phalanx Pike Dawnbreak. I lost this in auction series at one point. I remember that specifically. Let's do the Labyrinth of Nightmare. Can we pull a cool slime foil? Which there's slime in this set. So like uh, if we put humanoid worm slime or worm drake, whatever it's called. Uh, are these bent? Yeah, these often are damaged. These This specific set of packs in these blisters. It's really weird. Biomage, these are also damaged. They might all be damaged. Okay, Skull Lair, Grave Robber's Retribution. Maybe not that one. Okay, good. Gadget Soldier. Earthbound Spirit, Fairy Guardian, Nuvia of the Wicked, and Flame Dancer. So nothing, just a little bit of slimy commons. It is really weird how those feel. Like, you probably one day will get them and think they're fake. I've had people message me, they're like, are these fake? I'm like, no, they're just weird. <laughs> they're just really weird. Talisman, Smart Font, oh, oh. Okay, I messed up. Requel A, we got the Spike Eagle, we got the Dodgy Driver, and the Lightning Rod Lord. All right, wait, didn't we already pull this guy? No, we got him as a promo, right? Yeah, look, he's a promo. This is weird where they used to put it where you could get it as a promo and also pull it, which is like the worst idea ever. It's like pulling a card that you automatically get already. It's like, ugh. <laughs> All right, let's go. Which they did with Retro Pack, but it was cooler because it was unlimited and like really rare. Next, we got the Shadow Delver, the Chrysalis Larva, the King Pyron. Can we get something? Alien Shock Trooper out of our last slimy pack. Reverse of Neos. Oh, and an ultimate rare zombie master. That end... That is included in something. That is beautiful. Ultimate Rare Zombie Master. Fortunately, it doesn't have any of those weird damage marks where it goes right down the middle. It actually does have something going on there. But the one I pulled, it was like someone had run over it with like a tiny car. It was very weird. But that's an amazing pull. Our first ulti, our first step toward completing the goal. All right, our final strike of Neos and Secrets of Eternity. There's still a lot more after this. We've got our same promos again, Cyber and Dragons. Very cool, so that's nice. And then we have a Super Every Samurai Warlord Susanoo. Next pack, Secrets of Eternity. Our last three packs here. Will we pull Farfa yet again? Will he make another appearance onto the video? Let's go. Ritual Beast Ambush. We got the Performa Pal, the Dodo Swordsman, the Ritual Beast, Double Trap Hole, Dust Bot 003, Antendale, Frontline Observer, and you'll send you Sujik. That's okay. Two more packs. Another chance. Oh, the pack is going everywhere. It's following me around. Let's see what we can do. Extra net. Gem Knight Lapis. The Swordsman. The Illusion Balloons. The Despot 003. Part Naga. Raid Raptor. The Cagna. And Forma Pal Stamp Turtle. Oh, geez. We'll remember the Stamp Turtle. On to Strike of Neos. Let's pull that air, Neos. Come on. Just do it. It's not even for me. It's for Kaz. Come on, guys. His birthday celebration, we got the spirit, we got the Nasashi, the Zanji, the Kaki Gorilla of Dark World Ritual Stealing, the Yaichi, Fusion Devourer, and Silent Abyss. Okay, we're saving it for the last pack. I understand. Let's do Enemy of Justice. This is first edition, by the way. Was the last one first edition? I didn't notice that. That's actually pretty sick. First edition EOJ. Let's see if we can get an ultimate rare. These feel much better. Swift Birdman Joe, the Celestial Transformation, the Doom Lord, the Elemental Recharge, Royal Knight, Cyber Kieran, the Liard, the Liberator, the Majestic Mech Oka, and Senku. Okay, nothing in that one. That's fine, because we got 
Secrets of Eternity, the best set of all time to take up for it. Let's pull a Ghost Rare. We can pull a Ghost Rare in here, just saying. Infernoid, X Blossom. Oh, Wall of Disruption, Mischief, Super Every Samurai, Payati. Not that many Ruxa specials today, though. I'm doing okay. And a... Uh, oh, okay. Kagna again, all right. And then another Stamp Turtle. Nice, but almost the same pack, weird. And finally, for this part of the mystery box that we have more coming up, so don't make sure you don't leave. If you're enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Also, shout out to Ruxin Live. If you guys have not checked it out, the second channel, we're posting other discussion videos. Go check it out. We got, come on, let's go. Grand Track, Titian of Dark World, Lycanthrope. We got the Adventure Ritual Art, Umbral Soul. We got the Six Samurai, Yuriza. Neo's Force, no, Nisashi. It'll give us a good card one day. Okay, guys, I don't know what this is. It's taped up. I'm guessing there's more packs in here. We're about to find out. Oh, no. Oh, man, we got Extreme Victory. We got Shining Darkness. Power of the Duelist. Oh, my. Oh, something for me. Cool. And then Crossroads of Chaos. Something for Ruxin. And then Meg Rayo Mega Pack. By the way, this isn't everything. All right, let's see what he gave me. Something for me. Oh, oh, Ghost Rares. Harpy's Feather Duster and Relinquished from Kaz. Kaz, thank you so much, dude. These are awesome, man. You know I love Ghost Rare, so I appreciate it, dude. That is amazing. I love that. All right, this turned into like a live stream where we have a ton of different stuff. So let's see if we can pull some Ghost and some Ultimates. We're going to abandon the pack trick at this point because we have so many different packs. And at this rate, Dodger Dragon, that's nice. Super rare. We are going to be opening all day, which is not a bad thing to be honest but you know my editor might kill me if i do that so let's see if we uh can at least not make it an hour video maybe like 45 minutes how about that let's see what we can do can we get that dark neos this is power of the duelist elements of your neos the original printing as a common the disrespect flying saucer neo space and aqua dolphin so we got aqua dolphin and we got air hummingbird in the same opening that's actually pretty sick neo spatians unite we did not get the grand mole out of strike of neos though but maybe next time let's do a little shining darkness Some some of these are, are all, all of them first edition maybe this would be pretty sick to pull black wing dragon let's see if we can do that by the way there's more packs coming up after this and let's just say ghost rares looking like a guarantee if you know what i'm saying huh <laughs> so you might get the hint there ghost rares might be coming up after this if we don't get one or if we get one still they're coming up let's see resolute mech lord arm we got the mental seeker the tgem1 Kara Curry, TG Striker, and Red Carpet. So nothing in that one. I forgot. They're not guaranteed foils in that. That's actually pretty nice. Power of the Duels is back. P-O-T-D. Let's do this. D-Spirit. Wonder Garage. Alien Gray. Synthetic Seraphim. Oh, and an Overload Fusion. Ultimate Rare. Wow, what an awesome card. These look like retail packs, but Power of the Duels does have some pretty sick retail pulls. Overload Fusion being one of them. All right, our second ultimate rare of the opening. That's beautiful. Kaz sent me an email, and he was so hyped after the last one because he's really been wanting that Star Eater. So that was pretty awesome to see him that excited. Hopefully, we can do that again. All right, Overload Fusion. Talk about a nice pull. I'm happy about that. Let's go. Man, that's, that's pretty sick. I'm, I don't think I've ever pulled that ultimate rare, so that's really nice. Let's go. We got a Spore. We got a Magic Triangle, the Ice Bear, X Knight, X Saber, not X Knight. Herald of Perfection. Let's go. This is actually, I think, a decent card. The Ultimate Rare was like 60 bucks, I think. So that's actually a pretty nice Ultra Rare as well. Very good pull. We got the Axe, the Poop. That just does not sound right. <laughs> All right, let's try one of these Raw Yellow Mega Packs after whatever that was. I don't know what that card was supposed to be. Let's see if we can open this thing, which it doesn't seem like we can. There we go. We opened a lot of packs in our day. We still can't open packs. Let's see if we can turn that around. Let's get something amazing. Great Shogun Shien, the Offering the Snake Deity, Burst into Tricks, Elements of a Flame Wing Man, nice. Jane the Lightsworn Paladin. Next should be the Secret Rare. Let's see, but it'll be the O Over Soul. Cool. And Crystal Beast Amethyst Cat. Those Crystal Beasts actually have value, like, quite a bit. And then Car Trooper is nice for, like, Edison and stuff like that. Back to the power of the Duelist. We've already pulled an Ultimate Rare, which was pretty amazing. These are really not wanting to be opened. That's a good sign. That means that there's something amazing inside. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's see what we can pull. The Paths of Destiny. We've got the Orbital Bombardment. The Wonder Garage. The Elemental Hero Neos. Alien Mother. All right, just a rare on that one. Alien Skull and Saber Source. That's okay, because we've been doing really well out of those with the Ultimate Rare already. Let's see if... There we go. Stream Victory is opening nicely for it. We got Resolute. We got the Resolute Desk. Ah, oh, Nicolas Cage. No, I'm just... Okay, I'm just kidding. Oh, just Rux and Special past the rare. Yeah, I completely ruined that one. It's been a while, though. I mean, only like three Rux and Specials today. I feel like that's not that bad for how many packs we're opening. You know, there's a lot of pressure on me. You know, I got to open these packs. Like, 
you know, at a decent speed, but then guess what happens? Rux and specials take over. It's a problem. Orbital Bombardment, we got the D-Spirit, we got the Chrysalis Dolphine, we got the Black Patera, and all oh, the Flare Scarab! What's up with Neo Spatians today? It's Neo Spatian Day today. All right, super rare. We'll take that. That's pretty sick. I'll tell you, I, I used to have one of those in my uh, little deck box that I, I actually still have it because I kept my deck from back then. So I actually have that card. Let's see what we can get. This is Crossroads of Chaos. If we... Ooh, goes in match. Good card. If we get something amazing out of here, we're freaking out. And by amazing, I mean the Black Rose. Zombie Mammoth. Nettles. Oh, my gosh. The... Ah, the Synchro! I was like, oh! <laughs> I couldn't even say anything. I was like, there's no way. There's no way off the very first pack. And there was no way. It was a Psychic Life Transfer, which is not that great, unfortunately. But that would have been cool if it was the Black Rose. One day it's going to happen. We're going to pull that Black Rose. I'm just saying. I'm speaking it into existence, I believe. Orbital Bombardment, Alien Warrior. Okay, nothing in that one. That's fine because we have so many packs here that it's ridiculous. Let's go to the next one. Let's see what Kaz can get because we've pulled him some good stuff over the course of these three videos. Let's see if we can up it. Make it even better. Bio Falcon. What? Giraffe. This looks like the dude on One Piece when he turns into the giraffe after he eats the gum gum fruit. You know what I'm talking about? Right about where I am. I, I kind of stopped watching for a while. So right after that giraffe guy. <laughs> Let me know in the comments the better anime. One Piece or Naruto? Let me know. I'm just asking. I'm not, I'm not providing an opinion. I'm just asking. Just asking. Okay, maybe I should give my... No, I'm just kidding. TJ, I'll wait till I finish One Piece. Elder of the Six Samurai, the Blackwing, Jin, the Rain Shadow. Okay. Which may or may not ever happen because there's so many episodes. Even though Naruto has a lot too, but it feels like less because they're like separated into different series. So it's easier to like, okay, I'm like at episode 200. I only need another 50 episodes to finish the regular Naruto. Then I watch, you know, ship it in, all that stuff. So with One Piece, it's just, you have a thousand episodes. Like, get them done. Pass the Destiny. There's another Russian special. Oh, another Ultimate Rare. Dark City Batman is coming out tonight. That is a pretty epic looking one. I really like this one. That is sick. Another Ultimate Rare. The retail ultis just look really good. I don't think there's too valuable in the Dark City, but that's still pretty sick. Let's see if we can pull a third ulti out of these Power of the Duelists. I don't know where he got them from. Might have been. Probably wasn't a box, I guess. If he sent them to me, uh, you know, opened up. Because he sent us, like, sealed boxes last time. So maybe he got a nice lucky draw with his random packs. Amulet's Rescue Roid. <sighs> well, the Rux and Specials are back. Alien Warrior. I'm ruining it. I said, oh, there's not that many Rux and Specials. And look what I'm doing. Rux and Special every two seconds. That's okay. We got the ESP Amplifier, the Mechlord Factory, Morphtronic Lantron, Mechlord Army of Wazel, the Mechlord Fortress, and Esper Garyl. Okay, we're going back to back Extreme Victory because we have not had good luck with Extreme Victory so far. There's Ghost Rares in here. There's Ultimate Rares. There's a Secret Rare Tour Guide. I would be down to pull that for sure. Kara Curry, Resonator Call, and Axe Dragonute. Okay, Axe Dragonute. Not the most exciting. So we have three, what? Three Ultimate Rares? Not bad. Not bad. No Ghost Rares, though. But as I mentioned earlier, <laughs> might have a Ghost Rare coming up. Let's see. Battery Man, Triple A, Gen X, Undyne, Morphtronic. He already gave me Ghost Rares. Infernity Mirage. That's like a $10 card, I think. Did it get reprinted, though? It might have gotten reprinted in gold. If it didn't, it was 10 bucks before that. So that's a pretty good super. There's a lot of random supers in 5Ds that are worth like $10. And that's probably because 5Ds actually like had good cards. You know, back in the OG days, not a lot of the cards were actually good. Some of them were really good, and most of them were garbage. But in the 5Ds, they were actually... Oh, nice. Ultra rare. I thought that was a regular rare. Recipro Dragonfly. I remember pulling that like five times in an auction series episode. But um, because back in 5Ds, you had to do like synchros. You needed all these different special summons and stuff. So like it like holds up a lot better than the old school stuff so the supers that didn't get reprinted are holding on to value that was a rux and special pass and ultimate rare i ruined it black cards of black feather all right that's our fourth ultimate though that's pretty sick i feel like i pull this one every time as an ultimate rare that's kind of weird actually but a fourth ultimate rare very nice the black wing gust the black the back blast extreme victory let's see what we can do let's see what we can pull lance lenmore mech lord Lancer Dragonute, another super Lancer Dragonute. Okay, I think we got that as a promo or something. I don't know. Maybe we know we pulled it right off the bat. Power of the Druidist. We've already pulled two ultimate rares out of these. So I have high hopes to pull something else, which probably shouldn't because we've already pulled two. But let's see. Black Terra, Flying Saucer, The Paths. Dark City, regular rare with Black Stego. Okay, no big deal. No biggie. That's fine. We can... I dropped a pack. We we can make it through this. Let's pull a ghost or a black winged dragon. I don't think I've... I definitely never pulled the ghost. I don't, have I pulled the ulti? I don't think I have either. I think I have pulled the ultra, though. Black thunder. Axe. I'm not even going to try to say that. I'm not even going to try to say that. Let's keep going. Power of the duelist. Man, some of the names back then were... They were crazy. Let's go. Let's go. We have Rescue Roid. We've got the Synthetic Seraphim. The Elemental Hero Neos. The Orbital Bombardment. The D-Chain. And the Crop Circles. 
Very cool, the circles of the crops, but that's not giving us a ghost. It should be, because it's aliens, but... Yeah, I guess a ghost isn't an alien, because they're they're on Earth, I guess, sometimes. If you believe in ghosts, I mean, do you... Oh, ultimate rare, right? Oh, Ruxus Special, right until the ultimate. These ultimates are forcing me to Ruxus Special. It's not my fault. The fifth ultimate of the opening. Wow, that is amazing. All right, all right. Few packs left, few packs left. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> This is gonna be a long video. So sit back relax enjoy the video. Hopefully you guys liked it Hopefully you're having fun with the longer videos because we had a few long videos recently We were on like a 10 minute video streak and then we hit this streak where we've hit a bunch of long videos So I hope you're liking them. Hope you're enjoying them, you know giving you something to watch every day Appreciate it if you guys are watching uh, and I can't open this pack. I'm gonna open it. There we go these Power of the Duelists are difficult to open, but they've been good pulls so I can't complain Black Terra Flying Saucer the Paths of Destiny D Spirit Supercharge and the common soul supercharge man. What an ultimate that would be. I just jinxed this. We're definitely pulling it now <laughs> Oh, man, what did I jinx myself into the other day? Oh, yeah, the storm dragons return Don't remind me Apollosa rip Morphtronic scramble the trigon black wing strafe fountain in the sky Oh, the fountain in the sky. All right fountain in the sky. No big deal. Nothing to worry about these open really nicely, too I really like these. Let's see what we can do ghost rare. Come on black thunder Infernity randomizer Saber vault. That's a secret rare. That's our is that our first secret rare of the whole day? It might be the first secret rare. Maybe the second. I feel like it's the first though I don't remember the other one Morphtronics. All right. All right, man. This is an opening. This has been a good one for sure Let's see if we can pull something insane like dark neos elements of hero neos orbital of bombardment d spirit Dark city is back at it again. It really wants to rub in that. It's the dark city. It's like hello. I'm the city and it is dark Let's go TGX one we got the six style the style of the six the ESP amplifier and the husband oh, <laughs> Why do I think that's that husband hushed psychic cleric? All right cleric what I don't know I can't read raw yellow mega Let's pull some cool what oh, come on, please. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We got it We got the raw yellow mega pack to open up Matt. Okay, let's do like that rainbow gravity neos System down. Gladiator Beast War Chariot with a shifted name. That's weird. Six Samurai Zanji and R Righteous Justice and Dark and Dragon. That's worth a couple bucks. So we got R and O right now. So we need the H and the E, but we only have one more pack. So it's going to be difficult to get both of those. <laughs> difficult as in we need an error pack. That's what kind of difficult we're talking about here. Power of the Duelist has been good to us. Let's pull a third ultimate rare. Wonder Garage, Alien Gray, Synthetic Seraphim, Overload Fusion. We're just pulling the same ultis, but in rare form now. Very cool, very cool. Let's go. Black Wing Dragon, Spore, Leeching the Light, Second Booster, Flare Resonator, Infernity Inferno, and Forbidden Graveyard. No! Let's make this an extreme victory when we pull a Ghost Rare Junk Berserker, I believe is the name. Let's go. Elder of the Six Samurai, TGX1. Reborn Tangu, that's a classic. All right, Reborn Tangu, love to see that. That's a cool super rare for probably older formats when you got the t the Tengu plant format or whatever it's called. Let's see if we can pull something else. I've never pulled that card before, actually. Elder of the Six Samurai, it's just a super, too. Six style, the Gladiator Beast Tigaris, and Psy Beast, or at least I don't remember it. I may have pulled it once when we opened a bunch of those. Let's see, Blackwing. What you got, Blackwing? You got something for us? You got a Ghost Rare, Watt Fox. We got the Gen X Undyne, Infernity Break, Infernity Randomizer, Ally of Justice, X Saber. And the worm call. All right. Did we pull our two ultimate rares? Is there not more? Is there only two in here? Is that possible? No ultras. And not many supers out of here either. Fearmonger, Rescue Roid. We got the Orbital Bombardment. Supercharge. And Royal Writ of Taxation. I think we pulled like one super out of there or something like that. It wasn't very many. That's okay. We got the ultis. That's what really counts. Dawn of the Herald. Watt Fox. So far, no ghost. Sandman. With the Infernity Launcher. Nice super rare. Getting some pretty cool stuff out of those Blackwing packs, aka the Shining Darkness, but they have a Blackwing Dragon on the front, so I just call him Blackwing. TG1 EM1, the Force Resonator. We got the Fortissimo, Lancer Lindworm, and the Salvage Warrior. Remember him from the 5Ds episode in the prison. Still a few packs before we get into the finale of the opening, which is going to be pretty good. The finale is pretty nice. Let's see what we can do. We have Fossil Excavation, Baby Sarasaurus. Is this something? Contact. Wonder Gadash and Neospatian Flare Scarab. It really is the Neospatian day. That's hilarious. Another super rare Neospatian Flare Scarab. That's not too bad. And a Black Stego. Nice. This is going to be quite the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Let me know if you're still watching at this point in the video. All right, Psychic Fill Zone, because if you are, you are a legend. You've been sticking with it. Let's go to 
The Shining Darkness, which has been pretty good to us so far. Can we get something that will be considered really good to us? A Ghost Rare, a Bio Falcon, Leeching the Light, Trigon, Blackwing Strafe, Guard Mines, and the Initialize. Five packs remaining after this until the finale. We've got Mental Seeker. We've got Power Up Adapter. The TG Cyber Magician. We've pulled a lot of supers now. Ever since I said we're not pulling a lot of supers, we started pulling supers. Okay, last Extreme Victory pack. Here it is. We have not pulled a ghost. We need a ghost. TG Warwolf. Red Dragon Vase. The Nebula. Oh, Rux, a special drunk server. That's actually a $2 card, I think. That's actually pretty good. Shining Darkness. Please bless us with the Shining of the Ghost Rare. In the darkness. Okay, there's not really darkness going on here, but cast trap pull, decent card. Partial, randomizer, the crevice, electromagnetic shield. All right, dragon laser, the laser. Three packs remain here. Let's go with the raw yellow. Oh, I messed that up. There's actually two power of the duelist. They were disguising themselves. I didn't mean to, uh, didn't mean to forget that one. Let's go. Via Croyd, fossil excavation, alien gray, the D spirit, and the submarine roid. I love that guy. All right, the submarine roid. Very cool. Now we can do the raw yellow mega pack. Can we pull the E? Emergency call. Sheehan. Snake Deity. Disc Commander. Future Fusion. Nice card. And the Gladiator Beast Laquari is not bad. And Amber Mammoth. As I said, those uh, Crystal Beasts are worth something for some reason. I don't really know why. There was an Overload Fusion common in there. We've pulled like every rarity of that. Two more packs. Let's save Crossroads of Chaos for the end because we want that Black Rose Dragon. Let's go. Let's go. Synthetic Seraphim. Neos. Bombardment. D Spirit. Oh, what a way to end it! A Neo Space Ultimate Rare, and that is a beautiful one, too. Three Ultimate Rares out of the Power of the Duelist. Whoa! It's just like a bunch of colors, but that is still... I mean, it just looks really nice. That is an awesome Ultimate. That's number six? Is that number six? Six Ultimates. Now we pull the Ghost. Let's go. Before the finale. This isn't even the end, guys. This is not the end. That was a very weird opening of that booster pack. We got a Pursuit. Iron Chain Blaster, The Power Injunction, Horsey Tail, and Mad Archfiend. That's a classic. And White Star Legend, the original print, which is always... For, I always forget that's in there. And the finale of this amazing opening, we have three... Wait, these double... No. Legacy Blisters. Okay, like, okay, that's pretty cool, but what's the real finale? The real finale is not one gold series haunted mine not two gold series haunted mine but three gold series straight side up haunted mine very nice let's go let's start off with the pharaoh servant pack this one is falling open but that's okay because we're going to be opening ghost rest as i said guaranteed if you didn't guess that one then you might not have known but gold series haunted mine does have guaranteed ghost rares. black armor lancer is cool from the uh and silent angler both of these are in the Fish deck and dual links. Very nice. Pharaoh Servant Pack. Can we pull that secret red Genzo? Uh, Kaz, I hate to break it to you, but these don't have ultimates or ghosts, so we're not going to be able to pull anything in there. Just kidding. I'm sure you know that. Ground Clouds, Major Riot, the Deep Sea Warrior, and Red Moon Baby. Okay, Cold Wave. It's a cold wave coming in before the Ghost Rare takes over. Let's cut these open. There's only a single pack in each of these, which is pretty interesting. A single pack, but it contains a single Ghost Rare which is pretty awesome and a pretty cool idea. And this is pretty cool since Ghost from the Past 2. By the time you see this, it's probably already out and I've opened some of it. But uh, yeah, pretty sick. Regenerating my... I don't remember where the Ghost Rare is, so we're just going to go straight through it like a normal human being, not do anything crazy with the pack tricks. Let's go. Red Ogre. Fear from the Dark. We don't want to spoil it at all. Gold Zombie. Dawn of the Herald. This time we're going to do it like this, but this is very arm intensive. My tricep... Oh, there it is! The Gold! Ghost Rare, Solemn Judgment. This is like in the middle of the pack, actually, which is pretty cool. Solemn Judgment. How's the Secret Rares looking? Or not the Secret Rares. The print lines. That's what I'm trying to say. Hopefully it doesn't look like a Secret Rare. I don't see a lot. Whoa. Whoa. Is that a clean Gold Rare? If you've ever seen one, Gold Ghost. That might be one of the cleanest I've ever seen. These are always... They always appear clean, though, and then you find something later. But I'm honestly seeing nothing right now. That looks incredible. Whoa, that looks good. Solemn Judgment. Awesome pull. That's one of the ones you want to pull. Brianak and Fabled. Very good. And then we got some more commons. So it looks like they're in the middle when we do open these. Next one is Dark Crisis. Let's see what we can do. We have, oh, Rope of Life. Okay. Throwback card right there. What is this even from? A common DR1. Nice. We got uh, Evo, Dark Deal, and Rabbit Dragon. Dark Crisis. Let's go. Let's do this Dark Crisis. Arsenal Robber. 
Blinded Loyal Goblin, Sasuke Samurai, Falling Down, Dark Scorpion Combination, oh, and the Gaki Gaiyu Penda. I don't think that's how you say that, but that's how I said it, okay? On the next Gold Series Haunted Mind, will we get the Blue Eyes White Dragon out of one of these? So far, we've already gotten Solemn Judgment, which is probably the second or third best one behind Blue Eyes White Dragon. So that's already a great start. Let's open it up. Let's see what we can pull. This is a fun opening. Once again, Kaz, everyone shout out Kaz in the comments for sending these three awesome boxes to open up for three awesome videos. I've had a great time opening them up. I hope you're really happy with your pulls. I think you were on the first two videos. I think you will be in this one as well. So let's see if we can continue that. Okay, I think we didn't ruin it there. Okay, so this is the way we do it. Let's take these and be very careful with those. And let's go through these commons. Oh, this is actually a kind of hard card to find, and it's uh, used in GOAT format, so it's actually a nice card. I think Lady in White's pretty nice. Goblin Zombie, Zombie Master, and Tiki Curse. All right. All right. What did we get? The Ghost should be at the front, so let's do the Gold Rares first. Utopia and Dark Hole. Pretty nice cards. I like the Dark Hole and Gold Rare. I think it looks pretty cool. And then finally, will this be the Blue Eyes White Dragon? Let's check the back condition. Beautiful, beautiful condition. Will this be the Blue Eyes? Oh, another Solemn Judgment. Low-key, not a bad thing. I mean, honestly, getting a double if you're going to get one, Solemn Judgment is actually a pretty good one to get. And man, these are clean. I don't know where you got these, but these this box was pretty clean. There's a little print line on this one I can see. Probably not as nice as the other one, but still pretty clean for what these are. These are usually really, really scratched up. Congrats on the double Solemn. All right, we are down to the final two packs, guys. Final two packs. This has been a long opening. This has been the most fun by far of the three. Not that the others weren't fun. These, This has just been crazy awesome stuff. Honest, like so many good throwbacks. Time Pendulum Graph. Like probably the best. Pachi Cephalo is a nice common. Best old school mystery box slash goats and stuff like that that I've ever opened. It's been really, really good. A lot of good stuff in here. So let's go with Metal Raiders. Let's see if we can pull that Pecanio Moth. Crawling Dragon. Immortal of Thunder. Occubeam. And the fake trap. Will it be in here? Trent and Electric Lizard. No petite moth. And the final pack of this epic opening. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if I can get this open. All right. Will this be the Blue Eyes White Dragon Gold Series Haunted Mine? Why did I sound like Anakin Skywalker right there? I'm not sure. Okay. Let's see if we can get these out correctly. I think, what, are these the three? Are these the three, right? Or maybe it's that one. Let's just play it safe and make it these four. I don't remember. Um, let's flip them around. Let's go through all these. Let's see what they got in here. I think actually, I think that's a couple bucks too. I know a few of these commons in this set are actually worth a few bucks. So not bad there. So it's probably at the way this one will be a gold rare if it's anything. Okay. So it's just Zoma the Spirit. This is actually a good card in speed duel. So here are the two gold rares. We've got a Brianak and we've got Grapha of Dark World, which is another cool card. All right. And the final card for Kaz of the video. Will it be a blue eyes? Let's go. Naturia Barkeon. Okay, it's not the Blue Eyes White Dragon, but still a pretty cool card. Surface looks pretty nice. Wow, that was an awesome opening, guys. We pulled a lot of amazing cards. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos like this. And once again, shout out to Kaz for the awesome mystery boxes. Shout out to ZZG, Trusted Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter Emus, Junior Barding, and Anastasia Show, JT Cho, David FJ, and Josh Evans. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.